our place, integrated weed management is pretty important. Um, we start off at seeding time. If we can get a, a good um, early rain and some knockdowns, which hasn't happened for the last few years, but um, we can we start off with a knockdown, then we use our treff land. Um, we have a third cereal, uh, two thirds cereal, one third legumes rotation, and that lets us get a, you know, a few hits in our legume phase, add our weeds on the way through. Um, in the cereal phase, we really only target our ryegrass with um, treff land, and then we do an early radish spray and a late radish spray. And anything, the radish is pretty good, but anything that gets through, um, even the ryegrass, ends up in the chaff cart at harvest time. So we're backing everything up all the way through. Um, if something gets missed, rather than chop and spread that weed seed back out to get, you know, um, to use Peter Newman's words from Geraldton, like, congratulations, you've survived all these hits. You, you're now going to have another chance at survival. Well, we knock that on the head and put it in the chaff cart and say, well, that's where you're going to stay and, and we'll, we'll torch them. So it's a whole integrated package. We never miss an opportunity. So the chaff cart stays on for every acre, um, every season. We don't look, say, oh, this paddy's clean, take it away. Um, you know, it, it stays there because it's, it's, part of, it's part of a whole package. It's not, um, not a, a paddy by paddock thing. One point I want to make is that chaff carts aren't new and elevators aren't new. Um, we had a cousin down the road and his neighbour who had an elevator on a chaff cart um, and we went and looked at that, but they were collecting everything out of the header. And we sat back and looked at it and said, well, why can't we have a short elevator to catch, you know, just the, just the material off the sieves and then drop it onto another elevator to take it up into the cart. So that way we don't have the, the normal collection system. It's, it's positive, it takes less horsepower than what our chaff spinners used to take on the, on the machine. That solved one issue as far as the, um, the, the collection system, but the, the collection of the material. On, this is how we've set it up on this machine. We're catching just the chaff is coming down off the, the chute there and it just drops onto this conveyor belt. The rest of the residue is still coming out of the chopper here and out the choppers. So we're chopping and spreading all the residue. It then moves back on this short conveyor, drops onto the big one, and then from there, the big one there, it just takes it up and dumps it in the cart. This is what we're chasing, is the short straws in the stack. They, those few short straws and, and not so fine, lets the air into the stack to let them burn. So we, they now burn out in about eight to 12 hours instead of smouldering for several days. And that was the biggest issue we had to solve before we went down the chaff cart path. We dump them in a line where it's convenient. So the chaff cart doesn't have to be full, it's just where it's convenient to burn. And we just hit the button and we dump on the run. There's no slowing down, no stopping. So it doesn't slow harvest up at all. Here's where we burnt one of last year's chaff dumps. You can see it's burnt right down to just straight ash, um, there's nothing left, no, no residue, so we've been able to burn all the weed seeds. Some soil types, this ends up as a complete bare circle. Last year with a little bit of summer rain we had, it's, we've ended up with a bit of a germination on it, but it's a small price to pay to have a small bare area to have hopefully you know, a weed, weed free crop. What difference has it made to us? Um, it's hard to measure, but things like in 2011, we dry seeded 100% of our program. We started mid-April, finished on the 15th of May, and it rained on the 21st or something of May, and the air seed was back in the shed. So we can now dictate sowing rather than the weeds dictate to us when our crop goes in the ground. 